Hello friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna craft tonight and chat and hopefully laugh like we did the other night. Um, we're gonna make something for the Easter weekend that's so simple and easy to do. And I'm sure you have probably what I'm gonna use to do this. Um, so we're, I'm just gonna get started prepping my little frames because I'm gonna do two of them while we're chatting and while everybody's hopping on. Um, so we're just gonna chat. Hey, Patty, how are you? <clears throat> so I'm just gonna start. Hey, Teresa and Marcedia, I'm just gonna start um, staining my frames while everybody's jumping on. Hey, Carol and Corina. So I'm just taking, you know, my burnt umber and just doing my frames. Hey, Sherry and Noel. That way my frames will already be done. I won't have to be worried with them. Hey, Patricia and Sharon. Yeah, you caught me live. Awesome, glad you're here. I don't know if we're gonna have a funny like we did the other night with Flossie, but um, uh, we're gonna certainly have a good time. Hey, Pam and Barb. Yay, you're catching me live, Jacqueline. Awesome. Okay, I am just staining my little frames from a canvas from Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do, you don't necessarily have to have a canvas. Um, this is just the surface I chose to do this on. You can definitely do what I'm gonna do any which way you want to, on whatever you want to. Hey Sue, hey Sharon, hello all my friends are hopping on. Let's just craft a little bit. It's still, it's cold here. Y'all, it's like in the 40s. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we've never, like, just cold this time of the year. It's supposed to be starting to get hot already. We're either one way or the other. <laughs> hey, Donnie and Sherry. I am good. Yes, Peggy, it was hilarious. My little birds, <laughs> that was so funny. Um, I laughed every time I watched it and I made that little reel out of it and <laughs> I laughed all over again. And uh, I took them inside, my little, the neutral colored birds, the colored one is back, is back here, but the neutral ones I took in the house and put on my tiered tray because you know, I still got Valentine's up. Um, <laughs> no, Carol, I didn't see it. Um, but, uh, so I put them on my little tear tray and a little bird's nest that I had and just kind of um, set them on there for right now. And I looked over there a, a little bit ago and Flossie's, I didn't bring the frost. Oh my gosh, Pamela. I know some places are getting snow and it's just this crazy weather this year. Okay, so there's, this is an eight by 10. No, sorry, six by eight. Dollar Tree canvases, and I got two because I'm probably gonna do two of these. Um, hey, Jessica, y'all, look, I haven't even got started good and I got all over me. Um, yay, you got your box, Patricia, awesome. 40s, ugh, I know it, Donna, it's cold. It was that way, um, the weather came through the other night and it got cold after that and i'm like geez i mean our stuff has not even bloomed out yet and it's april this is like really late thank you linda late for us normally everything's already blooming and green and uh, so i'm trying to just stain my little frames while we're sitting here talking some crazy weather i know Me mother nature has um is doing crazy things right now. So I just have a baby wipe and I'm just wiping over the burnt umber over these, um, the, the frame inside of the canvas that I'm gonna use as a frame. Turn your, I turned my heater on, mine's on in here. I was cold. Probably gonna start sweating before too much longer cause I get hot. It gets hot in this part of the room back here and I probably should have turned it down before I got started, but here we are. Breezy, yeah, we had the wind yesterday, or yeah, I think it was yesterday. We've had a lot of wind. Warm in Connecticut, well, that's nice. Y'all deserve some after probably the winter you've had with snow and everything else. I'm assuming that y'all get snow way up there. All right, I'm making a big mess, but 
80 in North Carolina. Yeah, it's, Brenda, I think what we have is coming your way. Probably, the way the jet stream goes. Okay, so I'm just getting this all stained up with my paint and my baby wipe. And trying to make sure I don't have any gloss. And these, are, these have got the staples where you can see them on the outside, see that's the back. And then the staples, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. You never know when you open up these canvases what they're gonna look like on the inside. Because they may, they may be weird or I don't know, whatever. But then again, they may not be. Kinda warm here this morning and freezing now. Wow. It's just cold and rainy here too, Rhonda. It's cold and rainy, cold and rainy. Okay, let me, I'm gonna bump my heat down a second because I know I'm gonna get too hot. So let me pop my heat down a couple of notches. There we go. And it just went off. So that's good because I'll, I'll be sweating. I wore a long sleeve shirt because I'm freezing. Dogwood trees are beautiful there. He had a long nap, Carrie. I don't blame you. It's that kind of weather here. It's definitely napping weather. Had to shut your phone and turn it back on. Yay, okay, you're here. Mother Nature has lost her mind. She has, she's lost her mind. Um, I don't know, she needs some hormones or something. So I just took, I'm doing two of these, okay? See how they stay different depending on what the wood looks like. You don't ever know. They're six by eight, okay? You can do this, what I'm gonna do. Let my hands dry. You can do this on, um, Carrie, it's cold here. It's like 49 all day, 50 maybe. Um, you can do this on any surface, okay? So if you don't have a canvas, do it on whatever you like, a block of wood. You can do it on a little Dollar Tree sign. You can do it on whatever that you want to do it on. So um, first I'm going to cut my can the canvas part down because I'm not going to use all of that, obviously. Um, so I'm going to draw... Let me get a Sharpie, I know that'll work. I'm gonna just draw where I'm gonna cut and we're gonna cut this canvas so I can, we're gonna do something to it to do with the Easter weekend. It's what, Maundy Thursday is what I saw somebody post. And then tomorrow is Good Friday and the kids are out of school and my son has his prom tomorrow. Um. So, yeah, he has his first prom, junior prom, tomorrow. So, his, I'll be dealing with that tomorrow afternoon and taking pictures and all the good things that mamas do. And I can't believe he's old enough to go to the prom. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Snow, Tuesday, 70. Oh, my goodness, it's crazy weather. All right, I'm trying to cut on that side of the line because so it'll be just a little smaller because you're tracing the outside of it. So I'm just cutting. These are just six by eight canvases from Dollar Tree. I just picked the size that I thought looked good. Um, you can do this any scale that you want to, honestly. Um, but the smaller you get of what I'm gonna do, you're gonna see the harder it'll be to do it. Yeah, they're having it on Good Friday. I, I didn't understand that either, but I, I, maybe that's the only time they could do the venue. I, I really don't know. I was not in on the planning of that. Hey, Christy, yes, I'm live. Let me cut this one, because like I said, I'm probably gonna do two, because we're gonna do it. Um, you're not missed anything. <laughs> Somebody said, what I missed? Judy said, this is just a canvas. I took the canvas off while we were chatting, and I cut off you know, the canvas, and now I stained the frames, and now I am just cutting out my canvas, so when I get ready to put it back on the back, it'll already be the size, and I know where to paint. Because um, we're gonna kind of paint something, make something, um, hey, Corinne, is it Corina? I can't see the name, it went by too fast. Hey, Tammy, there's my Tammy, my moderator. <clears throat> I think y'all are gonna like this. Yeah, Sherry is prom and graduation and poof. Well, he has another year, so he'll be a senior next year, which I, I just can't even believe. Um, so I'm doing two just because I know y'all are gonna want to see it more than once. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna actually use the side, see that's like the cloth side, and this is the white side. Doesn't really matter, but I am gonna use the side that you would paint on. Organizing craft rooms. Oh, 69, well happy birthday, Beverly. I'm gonna put a piece of paper down because I know I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, let me, 
think about what I'm doing. Because I've already practiced this today several times. And because I wanted to get it right. I had, had it kind of in my mind. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. And we're going to do it on this particular picture. Okay. So, this is the part where you have everything you need. I know you do. Um, so, you can do it on a surface. Like, I was looking through stuff today. You can do it on little wood plaques. Whatever you want to do it on. I just chose to do it this way so I'd have that frame. Hey, Osea. Hey, Karen. Um, look at my fingernails are <laughs> brown. I just got started. Um, okay. So, I'm going to... I'm going to take some burnt umber. And don't, don't panic. But you'll see why I'm going to paint it brown first. I'm trying to think. Do I need to paint the whole thing brown? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm thinking. Sorry. So, I'm going to paint this one brown. Grab my paintbrush. So, I'm going to paint my whole canvas kind of brown. Um, and you'll see why in just a minute. Because... What I want to show through, I want it to be brown. Oh, everybody's telling Beverly happy birthday. That's sweet of y'all. Y'all are so sweet. So, yeah, Flossie's on my tear tray in the house because I had to take the Valentine's off real quick because it was getting on my nerves. <laughs> and then uh, put my little birds and stuff on it. And uh, she's, already, she's already down for the count. <laughs> oh. oh, Valerie's birthday's tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Okay, so here's my brown. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to paint it again, but I'll show you. Okay, so I just did my canvas brown. I'm going to set that aside because we're going to kind of do two at once, okay? So this is my second one, and I really don't have to paint this one. Okay, I don't have to paint this one, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm going to dry this one. Hey, Kay. I didn't do, I'm doing it kind of two different ways, <clears throat> two different colors. So you can kind of see, I did one, um, we're going to do a crown of thorns, okay? That's what we're making. I know you're all like, what is she doing? What is she doing? Um, we're going to do a crown of thorns. Probably not how y'all think we're going to do it. But I've practiced this several times today and I did it one color and then I was like, well, kind of, I don't know. I did it another color, so you'll see. So, I want this brown. Y'all are also sweet. Tell everybody happy birthday. Make their birthday special. Okay. So, this is brown. Getting it dry. Kind of wants to curl up a little bit on me. Hey, Myrtle. We did, Carrie. We laughed and laughed about Flossie. It was so funny. Okay. So, now you're going to see why I wanted this brown. This one I'm gonna leave white, okay? And you don't have to do two, I'm just doing two. Um, hey Myrtle, okay. So, there's my canvas. Doesn't look really pretty, it's totally fine. Let me get this over here. I know the edge of the frame is gonna cover that up, but we're also gonna paint on top of that, so it's not gonna really matter, but. Just left Mandy, was told to come over. <laughs> hey Mandy, okay, she's so sweet, I love Mandy. In her little group, I guess. Okay, so now this is so easy, and I promise that you can do this, okay? Because I've done it several times today, and each time you do it, the better you're going to be. All right, so what you're going to want to draw is, you if you can imagine the crown of thorns, kind of lay it on its side. So I'm going to do it kind of catty-cornered, and I'm just going to draw, and if you don't like it, which I think that's a little too big. It's okay. You can erase it because we're going to paint over this brown. But you're going to see in just a second why I wanted it brown. But we're going to paint over the brown. So I'm going to go a little smaller. Kind of like a pizza crust or something. That's what, well, nope. A little too big. I tell you what I'm going to do. Sorry. But do it with a pencil so you can erase it. Um, I'm going to lay this here. And then that's going to help me. Okay. Because you know you're going to have the edge that's going to cover it up. Hey, Aniva. Hey, Karen. Okay. So, that's going to help me. So, let me. Okay. I 
I think that's good. All right. So right now, I don't know if you can see the pencil. Maybe you can see the pencil. I don't know if you can see it, but you probably can. Maybe. It looks like a, here, I'm going to draw on the white one and you'll be able to see it. It looks like a pizza, pizza crust. <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. Um, let me do it on the white one and you'll be able to see it better. Like a, like a, it looks like a baked potato. Okay. Can y'all see that? So that's what you're gonna, um, an oval. Yes, Brenda, thank you. It's like an oval like this. Okay. And I'm gonna show, I'll go ahead and show y'all what we're doing. So you'll know what it's going to look like in the end. Now I did this on cardboard today and this is what we're making. Can y'all see the crown of thorns? I did it one way and I did it the other. And I have another one around here somewhere. But that's what, that's what we're going to do. Hey, Elizabeth. Okay, so I did a brown one and we're going to do a, a white one. Just because, uh, you'll see. Alright, so I'm going to put this aside. Now, this is the fun part. <laughs> so sorry if I'm missing comments so I can show you what I'm doing. Alright, we're going to draw with our glue gun. So I'm going to make my circle with my glue gun, and then I'm going to show you how to make the thorns, okay? And we're going to get that look. Um, yes, oval. Yes, thank you, Judy. Okay, so basically I'm just going to put it down, and I'm going to trace out my pencil. And you're not going to be able to see the pencil, but now you see, because the glue is clear, I want my, my crown of thorns to be brown, you like that? It's really pretty, isn't it? So I'm gonna show y'all how to make this. That's all glue gun and paint. That's all that is. Easy peasy. Oh, it's already Good Friday, Louise, in, in Australia. Awesome, happy Good Friday. Okay, so now you can probably see it. So y'all can see my, looks like a baked potato, okay? But put your, if you're gonna do a frame, put your frame down so you make sure you're not going too close to the frame like I did. Um, okay, so now here comes the thorns. This does not have to be neat because if you think about the crown of thorns that they put on Jesus' head when he was crucified, it was just, they just wove it together like a grapevine wreath. So it's going to be messy. So if yours is kind of, you know, wiggly and all that stuff, it's totally fine. Um, thank y'all. Y'all are sweet. Okay. So, this is the easiest way that I found to do the thorns. So, you're going to come up by... I'm going to stand up. You're going to come up here by your... Um, by the, the wreath part. And you're going to put a little blob of glue. Okay? And then, I'm going to take the point of my glue gun. And I'm just going to kind of drag it out to a point. Hang on. This is going to be so hard to show y'all, but it's going to be pretty. Okay. See how I did it there? I just kind of put a blob, and then I just kind of drug it out and lifted my glue gun tip to where it makes it into a point. Oh, you've seen that plant? Oh, my gosh. The thorns are so big. I, I'd imagine, though, they said they pierced his skull. They were so hard. Oh, Sandra, you're so sweet. I try. Um, so, then you're just going to go on the outside, put a blob. And then I'm just going to drag it out and kind of lift at the same time. So that gives you that point. So just put a little blob. I'm going to say that 900 times. And then drag your glue gun out. And wherever you think it should be a thorn, then do a thorn. Make them go all different ways. Because if you know, um, <laughs> you had to laugh at my potato. Well, that's what it looks like, right? <laughs> so turn your canvas or whatever it is that you have. Make them go different directions. You know, because if you imagine they wove it, it would be going all kind of different directions. So, I'm just, let me hold that up so y'all can see. So, you see how I'm just going all different directions? And um, three inches long, darling. Goodness gracious. That's crazy. So, you know, just keep going. I know at first it's going to kind of look a little scarce and it's going to look funny. But I promise you, the more that you keep adding the better it's going to look until you get to where, okay, I think I'm done. Um, just put a little blob and then I'm just, just like using it like a paintbrush and I'm just dragging that glue out. Oh, you're so sweet, Darla. Y'all are so sweet to me. 
um, and just drag it out. And like I said, go different directions. Make the thorns cross over each other to where, if you can imagine it being all woven like a grapevine wreath. Oh, thank you, Mandy. There's Mandy, my friend Mandy with Western Grace. If I'm missing y'all's comments, I'm sorry. Um, but make them, some of them long and some of them short. Like I said, make them cross over. And yes, I have tons of glue gun strings if y'all can see them. But I promise you, I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. Hey, Tina. Oh, thank you, Linda. Um, I have been wanting to do a painting with a glue gun and then paint over it. But, and I haven't done it. And I thought this would be the perfect thing for the perfect time to do since it's Easter week and we're up and on Good Friday. Hey, Aileen. So like I said, just keep putting a blob and then drag and lift your gun and it'll make that point. Just like if you had a paintbrush, just drag it out and it'll come to a point. And it doesn't have to be neat because we know the thorns are just kind of going every which way. And that's, you know, it's okay. So don't try to make them symmetrical or it's going to look like a wreath. <sighs> yes, it went into his skull. That's what I've read. That it was, they were that strong and that, that tough of thorns, which I just can't, I can't even imagine what, what he went through. I just can't even imagine. And he didn't have to, but he did. Hey, Linda. Hey, Carolyn. So I'm just kind of going in. I've got them all the way around, but now I'm just kind of going back and seeing where I need to put them. So see how it's looking? Let me see if I can get it close to where y'all can see how they're just little, just drag it out to a point. Hey, Kim. Yes, Tina, this is what I'm showing you how to make. These were my practice ones today using different paints and the glue gun. That's all that is. That's right, Nancy, because he loved us. Um, so I'm just putting a, a glob of paint and then just, I mean, of, of glue, and then I'm just dragging it out. And I have mine on high. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference because I always leave mine on high pretty much. But I'm just kind of dragging them out to a point. Y'all counting how many times I've said that so far? A blob and a point. And like I said, don't try to be symmetrical because um, then it's going to look like a, a, you know, a wreath. We don't want it to look symmetrical. We don't want it to look like it came from Hobby Lobby. We want it to look like it would if it, you took a grapevine wreath and wound it all up together. Hey, Debbie. Okay. So, I'm going to probably add a couple more. And then we're going to paint, we're going to do the other one and we're going to paint over this one and let it dry. So while this one's drying, we'll do that one. Because I'm going to do them both colors to show you the difference. So like I said, just kind of, just be random. I know sometimes it's hard to be random. And when you're trying to be specific and have them all symmetrical, you, you can't. It's like <laughs> they want to be random. All right, one right here. So just put a glob and then drag that glue that glue gun out with the tip. Just pull that glue right on out. All right. So see, I've got the middle of it looks like spider webs. I don't know if y'all can see the middle. It's like tons of spider webs. Okay. So I'm going to kind of let that set up and I'm going to start this one while it's setting up. So there's my potato or my oval <laughs> um these are this glue sticks are gorilla glue sticks and for something like this i wouldn't necessarily have used my best glue sticks um because i have some cheaper ones too for certain things and but they were this one was like brand new when i started today and i was like well it's already in there so i'm just gonna go with it because they are a little more pricier okay so i traced over my oval with my glue and I'm trying to let this dry before I get the um before I get the strings all off because I'm going to show you how we're going to do that so you just put a blob 
and then drag out the glue to a point. And once you get, uh, you know, going with it, you'll, you know, you're going to get better and better at making these little thorns. You know, make them as long as you want. Make them go different directions. Um. Oh, the Facebook's giving you a hard time of getting on. Sorry. So I'm just dragging it out. And I'm doing two because we're going to paint paint them differently. <laughs> hey, Bennett. Hello. How are you? He'll probably be like, she's talking to me. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so I'm just putting a blob, and so that's, like I said, once you get used to doing it, you're just going to be able to go, um, hey, Shannon, um, you're just going to be able to move right along really quickly with it, and be, you know, the second one's going to be faster than the first one, of course. This is like my fifth one, I think, today, because <laughs> I tried it a couple of different ways. Hey, Rhonda. But um, I thought it was just appropriate. And I knew y'all would have the supplies. Hey, Wendy. Um, you, I know you have a hot glue. And I know you have paint, probably. So, um, and then you can put this on whatever you want. If you have a piece of scrap wood. Do it on that. If you have a canvas or a canvas board would be good. You could do it. Um, hey, Sheila. No, and this is canvas that I cut out of a Dollar Tree canvas. I'm using the frame as the frame. I took it off the frame, stained the frame with paint, and then this is the canvas itself. But you can use, you know, whatever it is that you have. Um you know, wood, wood surface or whatever, or an old sign from Dollar Tree and paint over it. You can definitely use that. But like I said, just kind of be random about making your thorns. We don't want them to look symmetrical at all. And sometimes that's kind of hard, but it is for me because I try to get everything symmetrical and and then when you don't want it to be, it turns out that way, but make them go every which way because we know they were long and big and they went everywhere. Oh, that would be pretty, Becky. Yes, to put a cross behind it. Absolutely. Be beautiful. Um, I thought about that or doing some kind of cross and I just stuck with my crown of thorns. But, yeah, that would be pretty. Or you could put this on, um, well, you could do it on music paper or hymnal paper. Um, but we're going to paint over it. So, I don't know how well that would work unless you just wanted to paint the glue or you had gold glue. That would work. Um, I know they do have gold glue. Um, I'm about done with this because I've got a lot on this one. Uh, okay, I think I'm done. So there's mine. It's got tons of strings in the middle. See how that looks? Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so I'm gonna let that kind of set up. Now this one is already set up. So now I'm just gonna take my fingers and start rolling up. And some of it might come up like that one, but try to get the uh, glue strings off. And just be careful, try not to take, lift up any of your little thorns. And I have lifted up a couple of mine. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Like the little point ends, some of them are long and I'm just gonna take some of them off. Just be real careful. And then what you can't get loose, what you can't get loose, um, I'm gonna take my glue gun. Now it will melt your glue. 
So you have to kind of be quick and, and quick and easy with it. So I'm just kind of getting a little warm because the glue strings are so thin that they will melt first. And I'm just trying to get rid of them. But you don't want to melt it into a puddle of glue. Okay. All right. So I got all my spider webs. <laughs> oh, hey, Connie from South Carolina. Yeah, some of them have lifted up on the point. Um, and I'm just kind of cutting it off a little bit because I don't want them to... They're going to cause me a problem when I start painting. So now, I get my paintbrush back. I'm going to, where's my paintbrush? My paint. I just used Burnt Umber. That's a new bottle. Burnt Umber is what I used. Um, so I'm just using just a brown. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to go back over this again um, so I can paint my glue. Okay. So I wanted it to be the brown to show through the glue. So that's why I painted the brown first so that the glue wouldn't be clear because we are gonna wipe some of that off and I don't want it to wipe all the way down to the clear. And if it did, I wanted it to be brown instead of a white canvas. Hey, John. Yay, Donna, I got your box today. Um, and so that's why we painted it brown first. Now the other one I didn't because we're gonna paint it white and do the opposite. So I'm just painting over this Trying to get the glue really good. Make sure my glue's kind of pretty much covered with brown. And it'll dry, but make sure you don't have any gobs of paint inside all this. So, there's my crown of thorns. I'm telling y'all, this couldn't be any easier than it is. I mean, it's so, so simple and so effective, I think. Okay, so can y'all see all that? There's like a million glue strings. So, I'm just doing the same thing and trying to get most of them off and they'll just roll off with your hand most of them will like spider webs but then we're going to get it off with that the heat tool all right so let's get that yeah carrie that's burnt umber as well and i did burnt umber on the frame so i'm just trying to get like i said don't hold your heat to you know for a long time because your glue will start getting sticky again but it kind of gets rid of the all those little strings this probably would have been a good project to try the um the freezer method because i've heard if you put your glue sticks in the freezer they won't do this okay all right okay so now i've got all that off so this looks like a crown of thorns, doesn't it? All right, so let me get my paintbrush out. And I'm just gonna go over it with just regular white deco art paint. Um, and this is the same colors I used today. So on those ones I showed you, so that's why I'm showing you both different ways. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna paint my whole canvas, this white. And you kind of have to do your paintbrush all in there to get all in between the um, the glue and the strings and, you know, all the thorns and kind of get all in there. Even though the background's white, I still like to cover it good. But I did it on cardboard today and it worked beautifully on cardboard. And you're not going to know it's cardboard. <laughs> Once you do something with it or put it in a frame or something, you're not going to know that it's cardboard. You can even put a little wood around it and make your own frame. But those were kind of my practice, but it worked good on the cardboard. All right, I'm just getting a little bit more. So this will be drying and that's drying. Because the bad thing is, is that we can't dry it too much with the heat tool because we'll melt our glue. But I, I had a little fan here today. I have a desk fan. Thank you, Amy. And so today I used my little desk fan to blow on my um to blow on my piece so it would dry. And it worked good. But because you know we don't want to melt the glue. Alright. So there's my white. 
It's gonna look so pretty. All right. Uh, I think I'm done with my white. So just kind of go in between, make sure you don't have any big gobs of paint because that'll take a long time to dry. All right, so let's put that up. So let's get this one back over here. It's almost dry. I'm just gonna kind of, Judy, I don't know. Stuff just rolls around in my brain sometimes or I'll see something and it'll just kind of, I don't know. Thank you, Cindy, y'all are so sweet. Thank y'all for coming on and hanging out with me. Um, I'm just trying to not get that too, too hot. Hey, Linda, glad you're here. Yes, I'm having a good evening. I'm just trying not to melt that. It's gonna look so good. And I can't wait for y'all to try this. And you're gonna be like, oh, this looks so good, I can do this. <laughs> Hold it back far enough. It doesn't really get it that hot, but I'm all, let's see, my little fan. See, I have this little desk fan, <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to put it right here and let it dry this one while we're doing this one. That way, I think I'm good. I think I'm done with this. Sad. Okay. All right. So, there's my brown. It's dried. Okay, so now, I don't know why I just put that white paintbrush in there, because I need it. Oh, well, let me grab another paintbrush. Um, that looks like a good one. Okay, so this was drying. Can y'all see it? He was, you were wondering what you're going to do with all your canvases. Well, here you go. This is your idea right here. And this is our Mod Podge from the other night. <laughs> we made the birds. And, um... Mansion, TTC. I know there's Tina care too. Um, so I'm going to put my paint in here and I'm going to take the same white that I did here and we're going to paint over this. Okay. Yes. All right. So take in mind, you need to do the whole canvas and I'm just going to kind of go where the frame's going to be. And you got to get all in those little cracks where the thorns are, okay? So kind of just do your paintbrush all around so you can get in all those little crevices. Oh, you had the same shirt? Yes, it's from Walmart. I think I got it last year, and I love it. It's so soft. Try Time and True or whatever that brand is that they have at Walmart. So now you're seeing why I was like, well, the white, the thorns are going to be white. So, that's why I did a brown one. This one's going to be brown. You're going to see in just a minute. Yes, yeah, Sheila, I enjoyed the Canton experience. It was wondrous, wondrous, huge and wonderful. I loved it, and I'm ready to go back. I was talking to Cindy today with Art Shattered, and I'm like, girl, we got to go. I done told everybody, all my friends, we got to go. It's just, we got to go back. Okay, so I'm going to try to work fast because I don't really want this to dry. So I'm trying to get in all those little holes and creb crevices, okay? Oop! I don't think I got it on me. So sorry if I'm not seeing y'all's comments because I'm... I gotta work fast. Okay, so I'm trying to get it as kind of even as I can. Alright, so there it is. It's streaky. It looks streaky. It, it's okay, though. So now we're going to take a baby wipe. And I did. I turned my fan on. Is it making a... Is it a... Is it, um... Making an interference or anything? Okay, so now I'm going to take my baby wipe. And now I'm just going to kind of wipe over my thorns and you kind of have to keep moving your baby wipe around because then you'll wipe paint right back on them um and i just kind of did no yes this is right i'm thinking which one i'm doing um so i'm just wiping 
And I'm gonna wipe some of my canvas as well because I kind of want that to look a little distressed. Try not to let that get on the, um, on this page, oh, um, get on my, the fan to blow on it because it's drying it. Okay, so you kind of just kind of want to go quick and wipe off the paint off of your glue. And you can see that the thorns are starting to kind of emerge. See? It's looking good. I like the brown one too. The first one I did was the, the white and then we're going to put the wax over it or paint. You can use paint. That was the first one I did. And I was like, well, I think I want them to be to be brown. So, and if you want to paint half white and then get it all off and then paint the other, you could do that too because you kind of have to go quick because you want to get that paint before it dries on the, the glue. But you can scrub it off. I'm having to do that a little here. You can get it off by just keep going with it not a problem but it is easier when it's wet you know that paint doesn't like to adhere to that glue because it's slick it's looking so good And it's okay if it looks a little bit like I got a little bit of brown here and I'm just going to wipe it off. But it's okay because I kind of want this to look um, whoop, a little tattered and worn and that's okay with me. And if it gets a little too tattered and worn, just take your paintbrush back and then just kind of go back over it a little bit. If, it, if the white part gets a little bit too distressed, just kind of go back over it. And it'll be okay. But I like it looking distressed. Hey, hey, Linda. All right. So I'm just kind of going around. You know, like I said, you kind of have to keep moving to a clean spot in your white. Because, you know, you'll wipe the white right back on it. You'll see what I mean. You just kind of have to keep moving your wipe around. All right, so I think I've about got it where I want it. All right, well, trying to get these little bitty ends. It looks so good, y'all. looks so good. Okay. And that's what I have. Let me turn it like it's supposed to be. It looks so cool. And I promise, in person, it looks so much better because you can actually see it's raised. Um, so it looks, you can actually, you know, it's off of the canvas. And whereas you're looking at it, it's flat. Um, but it looks really, really cool. I mean, the thorns look like thorns. See how that looks? It just looks really cool. So you can see where my glue gun drug through the glue, but that's okay because I think it's really, um, makes it look really, um, it looks like thorns. I think it looks really cool. Um, hey, you're okay, Alicia? Um, Okay. So I'm gonna just try to make sure I don't have any white that's wet in between there. But like I said, I can't get it too hot. I'll melt my glue. Excuse me. I know I love it too. I think it's it's just I, I like the way it looks. And I'm not done with it because we're gonna do something else to it. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any white paint that's wet. Okay, so now this one, you can use the brown paint if you want to. I'm gonna use my wax because y'all know I have like a gallon and it's gonna last me for a long time. Make sure I don't have any spots I wanna. 
So like, you know, if you have some spots on your canvas that looks a little bit too distressed, like I said, you can just come back in here and cover them back up. But I like it looking like that. It just kind of looks like worn paper. Uh, Linda, I used my glue gun. That's all I used. I just took glue and you can go back and watch the replay when I get done and you'll see how I did all the thorns, but that is hot glue that I painted over. So see, so you can tell there how it looks off the page. It's, it's textured, so it's really cool. Yes, Donnie, you could put words, he is risen. You can put whatever it is that you wanna put and it would be so pretty. Yes, very simple. That's what I like, Wendy, about it is that it's very simple. Um, so now y'all know I get scared on this part, but you're gonna be amazed that this is not gonna be white anymore. It's gonna be like a cream color. Um, so here we go. I know, and you're like, oh my gosh, I, um, I've messed it up. It's all messed up, but you really haven't. And on this part, if you want to get in there with a brush, which might be better on my part if I did that, and get in there and get all around those thorns, it might be better to do that, actually, and then kind of wipe it off. And I'll show y'all just a second. But it's going to leave all that wax in between all those thorns, and it's really going to make them pop off the canvas. Y'all see it? It's really cool. And you can do it with brown paint as well, but it really gives it that textured look. It's very, very pretty in person. Um, you're not going to be disappointed if you try this. This is very simple and very easy because it's nothing about it that's perfect at all. You're just you know, trying to make it look messy with the glue. And then you just paint and then do this and wipe it off. It's not hard. Uh, thank you, Karen. I try. Um, sometimes I just see stuff and I think to myself, how can I make it look like that? Or how can I recreate that? And that's sometimes how things come about. And then I may put my spin on it. Um, Something like that. That's just kind of how I, how my brain works sometimes. But I am painting my whole thing, the whole canvas. I'm gonna go back up here. I'm probably gonna go over it a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna come up here and wipe it all off again. Sorry if I'm missing y'all's comments. I'm having to look down a lot. But you can take off or leave on as much as you want to. Um, so this is strictly up to your liking and what, what color you would like it to be. Because I can, I can take it off and it'll be white, white again. And I don't really want it to be white, really white. But see, I can take off as much as I want to. Um, with that baby white, it'll just come right off. I'm just just kind of keep playing with it till you get it to where you like it. Like I said, if you get take too much off, then put some back on. No harm. You haven't done any. You haven't went past the point of return. <laughs> but I admit this part does scare me because it, I I don't like putting that wax on there and. It's like such a subtle, it's such a drastic change. And then it's like, oh gosh, I've messed my thing up. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. All right. So now y'all see, look how pretty this is. So when I, this is the one I did first. And I was like, you know, I kind of want the thorns to be brown. So then that's where this came in. Is I did the brown, the glue, and then I painted it brown and then wiped it off, did the white and wiped it off. Um, but see, this kind of looks like, almost like um, like parchment paper or like old timey scroll paper. I think it looks kind of 
really cool. But this is just the Waverly Wax, but you know, try it with brown paint. I'm sure it'll be fine. Because that baby wipe kind of keeps it wet and where you can just kind of wipe it right back off. Take some more off up here. Okay. I got all this all over my table. I love this glass. I will say I love the glass tabletop because it wipes right off <laughs> and that's all over me. All right, so I think I'm through with my paintbrush. So I'm gonna set that over there and let that dry. And this one is dry. Look how pretty this is. Yeah, the wax is fun, yes. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do now, what piece of fuzz on there, is that we're gonna put the frame back on it. Do it. Let's do this. I think this will be better if I put the glue on the frame instead of the, the glue on the canvas. But you have to kind of move fast. I know. I love them both, too. And I, I wanted y'all to see them. Oh, I forgot the last step. We'll do it in a second. I wanted y'all to see them both because that way you can kind of like, I wonder what that would be like if I did this, you know, did the opposite. So that's why I kind of wanted to do it that way. Okay. So there's this one. Look how pretty. And the brown does look a little darker, but it's still pretty. But you can do any color brown. Now, for the finishing touch... We're going to use Rub and Buff, and this is Antique Gold. Um, now, this to me is what really made it. Um, Danita, um, I looked it up earlier today. Matthew 27, 29 is where they talk about the thorns. So, all I'm, I'm doing is putting it on a paper towel, and then I'm going to brush it just on the glue itself. So, they're going to be... Um, have a little gold on them. And this to me is what really, really made it. But you can, there's there's gold paint, you can do that too. Thank you, Teresa. Yes, now Becky, that would be beautiful. Three, she said, put three crowns interlocked together. That would be very pretty. And you could put a cross, you could put three crosses in the background. Um, but I think that they only put a cross on Jesus because they were, you know, he said he was king of the Jews. Well, they were mocking him and saying, you know, here's your crown if you're the king and blah, blah, blah. So they kind of just did it as a mockery of him because he was claiming to be king and they didn't believe him. Little did they know. But, um, so I think he was the only one that got the crown. Because I don't think that's part of the original crucifixion process, but I may be wrong. I'm not, I don't claim to be a Bible scholar, but okay, now that y'all can see the gold. You'll see the rub and buff, and I'll buff it in a second when it dries. But look how pretty that makes it. Yeah, only Jesus. That's what I thought. So I'm going to let that dry. Let me do this one while I got my my tissue with my rub and buff on it. Um, thank you, Nilma. I just this something so simple can be can mean so much, and you know you can you can add too much, I believe, but of anything, and sometimes just the simplicity of this just says enough. You know, I don't. You look at this, and everybody instantly knows what this means um you know he didn't have to do it he could have called the angels down to come get him um he could have just that there could have been another way but you know there must be the shedding of blood for the atonement of sins and so he was the perfect sacrifice and he didn't have to but he did so when you look at it gives me chill bumps to think about it but when you look at this um, you automatically just know what it is. No questions asked. But look at the gold. So stinking pretty. 
so so pretty love that I'll get, see if I can get it close so y'all can see that rub and buff just kind of brings it right on out um, but you can you know use some gold paint gold paint pen whatever you have um, I think this tube is like six dollars or something at Hobby Lobby and I promise y'all it'll last you for a very 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 long time <laughs> Yep, it explains everything. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. I've got to put the frame on that one. And I'm just going to buff my gold a little bit. And it's going to make it a little bit shinier. Everybody says you got to rub it, but then you got to buff it. I don't know if y'all can tell a difference, but it's so pretty. It, it sets up and dries pretty quickly. So, anyway, so now I'll put this on. Yeah, the gold is just, you know, if you're not a gold person, I just like it. I think it adds to it. I'll turn my fan off. Um, let's see. So I'm just going to put my glue on my frame so I can put it back on the canvas without getting it on my fingers right here. These would be so pretty if you had somebody that you needed to give something to for Easter, Sunday school teacher, or something. This would be something that just says it all, you know, and it's not going to take a lot of effort. It's not going to take a lot of money. You just, it's just glue, and I know y'all have hot glue. Okay, so there's that one. Look how pretty this is, y'all. This is so pretty. I, I love it even more in the frame. Um, got a pack of four different colors on Amazon for $16. That's a good deal, Tammy. But look how stinking pretty they are. You know, and if we even wanted to, now that I've thought about it, we could come up here and put some on the frame. You like the second one better? Yeah, you just kind of have to add as many thorns or, you know, whatever that looks looks the best to you. Um, and it's kind of hard to tell when you're doing it of how it's going to look. So I'm just kind of brushing some, especially on those little staples. But I'm just brushing it on the, the frame a little bit, adds a little bit more to it. I don't know if y'all can even see it, but I just kind of brush some on there. <laughs> You're going to start drawing with your glue gun now. Um, so, I think they're just so pretty, y'all. And you can do this. It's so, so simple because you don't have to be so precise. And the glue gun, you know, it's not like a paintbrush or a pen. So, it kind of works and goes with it because it's, um, you know, it's not perfect lines. And it looks all squiggly like thorns. So, I think it's perfect. The perfect tool to do this with all right Whew, this stuff is so smells so strong i don't know what it is but it is like <laughs> whew, the fumes okay so i just brushed a little on the frame i know y'all probably can't see a lot of it but so pretty so here are the ones i did earlier today and see they're closer together than mine that i did tonight because i was trying to make them bigger but so just kind of be mindful when you make your ovals of how they look. But see, this works beautiful. And if I wanted to, all I would have to do would be, here they are. Look how my scissors are. Um, I know, I don't, I can't even decide which one I like best. I, I don't know. But see, like this, if I wanted just to cut this out, And I could do something with just this. And you would never know that that was on cardboard. If I covered up the edges, you would never know that that was cardboard. Oh, it looks so cool. And then we'll do the same thing to this one. So sometimes I'll practice some stuff before I actually try it for real. I'll try it, you know, see if my idea actually is going to work. Look how cool that looks. So you could do... Do it on whatever. You could put Jenga blocks and make you a frame. There's all kind of stuff. Yes, Marsha, amen, he is. But see, and see, this is this one looks different because 
when you wipe away the white, especially on here, you can see the pattern of that canvas material. And on here, it's just, it was slick and smooth. And so it just has a different look to it. So depending on what surface that you're gonna, um, you're gonna put it on, it's gonna look different. Um, but you could do it like, these are at Walmart, these little plaques. You could put it, you know, you could do the same idea on this plaque Put in the easel or whatever or a square one. I know y'all have them. Somewhere in your stash probably. Some little sign from Dollar Tree that you could paint over. That's right, Carol. That's what he sacrifices for us. Um, yep, put sticks around. That's a good idea, Sandy. You could like frame it with sticks to make it look rustic. So pretty. How pretty would this be on a wreath on a door? Be beautiful. Um... Rub and buff. I think rub and buff does it. But if you have gold paint, you could get like a little paintbrush and just paint on it. It looked, it would look just as good because I got some gold paint that's beautiful. Um, made from hot glue and paint and rub and buff. Yes. So simple. And I know y'all probably have Dollar Tree canvases in your stash. That's all this was. A scrap piece of wood. I, I mean, anything. Um, so I will show you one thing I tried. <laughs> One thing I tried today was I was going to do it crackle, okay? So I had this grand idea that the background was going to be crackle, but I was trying to see how I was going to pull that off. And I did crackle in today. And look how good it crackled. <laughs> That's school glue. I got a great cr crackle, but after I started doing it, I said, this ain't going to work because then I got to wipe off. Yeah, I was like, no, this ain't going to work. So, But I, got, I did get a pretty crackle on this piece of cardboard. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. I put it, the glue real thick on, and then I put the paint right on top of it. I barely let it dry much. Um, but yes, it's so pretty. Look how pretty. I'm so proud of my little frames. And if you wanted to come under here, and let's see, here's my little Sharpie. You could come right here and write. I don't have the best handwriting. I'm gonna write John. 316. Or you could write whatever scripture you wanted. So it's very, 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 very tiny. I wrote John 316 right there. So you could do, you could write it in the middle. You could put he is risen or, you know, there's so much that you could put on this and make it yours. Um, but it's just so, you could put a bow, you could put greenery on one corner it's just, it's net, you know, that it's endless. But I just think it's very, very cool. Use your stamps. Yes, Jenny. Yeah, that crackle. Look at that. I mean, I couldn't have got that if I was trying hard enough. On a live, it certainly wouldn't look that good. But how good would that look on like a cabinet door or something? Look how good it turned out. I was like, oh my gosh. But I let it dry on its own. I put the glue down real thick. And then I put the paint down real thick. And it was just regular paint. It wasn't chalk paint. And then I just, I let it dry because I had to run and run an errand. And then I came back and it looked like that. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, oh, good, Tanya. That's great. Hey, Luann. My friend Luann, she is on a cruise right now. Look, Luann, we made. Out of hot glue and, a, and paint and rubbing buff. Isn't it pretty? So, um, so y'all practice. Um, just practice. I mean, like I said, get you some cardboard and practice. Um, that's what I did. <laughs> so, uh, I don't even know where the other one is. Oh, I know where it is. Because I did it. Okay, I did too. I tried this. I tried to do it on parchment paper. And I was going to peel it off the parchment paper. Like peel, peel off the uh, hot glue. I couldn't get it to come off the parchment paper. So I was gonna pull, pull it up and see if I could like transfer it to something else. Cause I thought, well, I can do that for my crackle when it wouldn't come off the parchment paper. So I did away with that. That's what happened to that one. Thank you, Barb. Thank y'all so much. This is so pretty. Look at it. So pretty. Yeah, I think if we let it dry on its own, it does better, I think, than using the, you know, trying to speed up the drying process. 
because I came back to that. And I was like, wow. Okay, so I am going to pick a couple of names for some happy mail. I'm going to send y'all the little bunnies. Um, so let me let me just, whoop, there's my comments. Um, let me just go back and pick somebody. It always stops on somebody's watching. Carol Dickerson. Message me, Carol. Let me find something to write on. And I will send you a bunny, a set of bunnies. All right, let's go back some more. Trisha Palmer. And I'm going to go back down a little ways and stop. Kathy Burley. Message me your address, and I will send you a set of these little bunnies. They're not just for Easter. They can be for spring. And let me go back to where I was. There we go. Oh, Adelia, I'm sorry. Love the way it turned out. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Sharon. So, y'all message me your address if I called your name, and... I will send you out bunnies. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christy, go back. And, it's very simple. Glue gun and some paint <laughs> and rub and buff. Oh, Tricia, yay. Trisha, Kathy, and Carol. Carol Dickerson, Trisha Palmer, and Kathy Burley. And I'll send y'all some bunnies. Oh, Diane's working on her set now. They're so stinking cute. This is what they look like. And there is a video of, to show you how to do it. These bunnies. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? That's what they look like. They're adorable. I love them. That was like one of the very first things I cut out with my laser and then everybody asked for me to, to put them out so I did um thank y'all very much but I hope y'all give this a try it's so simple y'all I know you can do it it's so easy um if you didn't see the beginning go back and see how I did the glue um thank you Pamela so um y'all have a wonderful Easter weekend and stay safe and if you're having storms coming your way because we've had storms um come through the whole south so um if you um y'all just be safe have a great weekend with your family remember the reason for easter is not about the bunny but it's about the lamb of god and he came and died on the cross for our sins so and he rose again on the third day so if you um have a get-together this weekend. Y'all remember the reason. And, um, Carolyn, that's a good idea. Why did I not think of that? On silicone, and it would have peeled right off. I put it on that mat. Oh, you're brilliant. See, y'all, I need y'all. <laughs> um, a mini one, yes. And, Sherry, it's hard. The smaller you get, the harder it is. Um, now, this would be a good size for a tear tray, but you'll see when you start doing it. Like, I have a precision tip on the end um and it was a little hard for me if I would have gotten any smaller happy Easter yes everybody enjoy your Easter I'll post pictures of my baby boy going to prom tomorrow night um so y'all have a good weekend don't eat too much don't eat too many eggs <laughs> so I love y'all thank y'all for being here as always and I can't thank you enough and so, just remember Jesus this weekend and what he did for us. And um, just take it all in because he did it for us. And if it would have just been you, he'd have done it just for you. So, um, y'all keep that in mind. Love y'all. And I will see y'all Monday. Bye, guys. Have a good one.